Jesus was in the Old Testament. Hello friends welcome to the truth of God Jesus Christ is Lord channel. Here is another reaction video with Pastor Gino Jennings. We believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and He is the Creator of heaven and earth according to the scriptures. This channel is for educational purposes only. Let's watch and learn together. In the beginning was the Word. The Word. God use speech to introduce time. The moment God created something, time was attached. That's right. Because time is not attached to eternity. That's right. Eternity has no beginning and eternity has no ending. No ending. But the moment God created something, time was attached. That's right. In the beginning was the word. word. The beginning came about through the usage of words. That's right. Speech spoke the beginning into existence. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that God has a beginning. No. For God is eternal. That's right. God is everlasting. God have no beginning of days and God have no end of life. life. Listen. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. Hold it. You two God and three God fakers. fakers. The Word was what? And the Word was with. Wait a minute. What's that word? With. What's that word? With. What's that word? With. Hold that word. Mm -hmm. I want to work on one word. Right. And I want to link it. And I want to go to Deuteronomy 32, 39. 39. Mm -hmm. I want to deal with with. With. I want to take my time and hold your hand, neighbor. <laughs> You're always holding neighbor's hand in false churches. Listen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Now, you dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving preachers <laughs> says that the Word was with God, so that means it was another God with them. Yeah. In fact, tomorrow, there's supposed to be a professor from a university in Harrisburg mm -hmm. coming here to debate me <laughs> on three gods. I got a chance to briefly talk to him on the phone, Trinitarian. Hallelujah. And uh, he lost the fight before he swung. That's right. But I want to give him time to the microphone. I hope he come. Mm -hmm. And the scripture he quoted to me over the phone in the Old Testament that says the testimony of two men is true. But I wouldn't body slam him over the phone because I wanted him to believe he had something. <laughs> So I said, the testimony of two men is true. He said, yes. I said, you know what? You know you got something. <laughs> Paying the men, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm leaning on the scriptures. <laughs> Paying the men, you know. Hallelujah to God. I said, well, you know, I, I don't want to get in too much dialogue over the phone so let's let's just wait till you get here tomorrow started something hmm. hey man I just wanted to be the men when I hung up the phone I just said <laughs> glory to God Hallelujah. Hey! Hallelujah. the testimony of two men is true that's right but God is not a man that he should lie. That's right. Neither is he the son of man Neither is he the son. that he should repent. That's right. The word was with, with God. With that God. doesn't mean another God is with him. No. Let us remember, viewer and listener, the scriptures must harmonize. That's right. The Old Testament must cooperate yeah. 
It's the New Testament. Because the Bible says around the throne sat 24 seats, and upon the seats was 24 elders clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. The 12 tribes of Israel refer to the descendants of the 12 sons of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel in the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament. According to the biblical account, Jacob had 12 sons, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. Each of these sons became the progenitor of a tribe, and these tribes formed the 12 tribes of Israel. The tribes played a significant role in the history and culture of ancient Israel. After the Israelites were delivered from slavery in Egypt under the leadership of Moses, they entered the promised land of Canaan, which was divided among the twelve tribes. The tribes settled in different regions of the land, with some tribes inhabiting the northern part and others the southern part. Each tribe had its own territory and often developed distinct identities. The tribes were organized into a confederation and were led by judges and later by kings. The most prominent king of Israel was King David, who came from the tribe of Judah. After Solomon's reign, the kingdom split into two, the northern kingdom of Israel, consisting of ten tribes, and the southern kingdom of Judah, consisting of two tribes, Judah and Benjamin. Twelve plus twelve equal what? He had twelve tribes of Israel, and he chose twelve men and made them apostles. So the 24 elders around the throne represent the Old Testament and the New Testament. It represent the prophets and the apostles. All the elders was arrayed in white robes, letting you know that God of the Old Testament was the same God that deal with the apostles in the New Testament. They all had on their head crowns of gold. Let you know that the prophets and the apostles was anointed right. by the self-same spirit. That's right. Not only did they have the light of God on their head, but they had the light of God in their head. Hallelujah. That's why Paul said, I told you no other thing but what Moses and the prophets that should come. That's right. And Jesus said, you fools, mm -hmm. you're slow of heart. He recommend that we believe all what the prophets have said. That's right. Then Jesus die and come back mm -hmm. and declare mm -hmm. that these are the words that I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled. Jesus Christ is believed by Christians to be the Son of God, the Messiah prophesied in the Old Testament, and the fulfillment of those prophecies. According to the New Testament, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, performed miracles, preached about the kingdom of God, and ultimately sacrificed himself on the cross for the salvation of humanity. His life, teachings, death, and resurrection. Well, where at Jesus that were written? in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So Jesus was all in the Old Testament. Are you listening? That's right. So when the Bible says the word was with God, with God. we denounce the teaching and the theory mm -hmm. that there was another God with him. That's right. And this is the reason why we denounce it. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. Get me now. See now that I. God talking. Mm -hmm. God talking. See now that I. You better give me Deuteronomy 32, 38. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 38. Begin there. Which did eat the fat of their sacrifice uh -huh. and drank the wine of their drink offering? Yeah. Let them rise it up and help you and be your protection. Uh -huh. See now. God talking. See, see now, now that I, I, even I, even I, am he. Am he. And, and there is no God with me. And what did John say? And the word was with 
God. And what did Deuteronomy say? There is no God with me. And what did John say? And the word was with God. And what did Deuteronomy say? And there is no God with me. We only got one here. That's right. In the Gospel of John, specifically in John 1 verse 1, it is part of the opening verses of the Gospel, which are often referred to as the prologue. The full verse is, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's right. So, if there is no God with Him, That's right. No God. What does it mean the Word was with Him? Was with God. Mm -hmm. His Word being with Him means He's a God of His Word. That's it. When he speaks, it just got to happen. Got to happen. <laughs> no word that he ever spoke fell to the ground. That's right. That's right. As he purposed, it stands. It stands. As he thought, mm -hmm. it comes to pass. That's right. His word is with them. How much is it with them until it's impossible for him to lie? That's right. His speech infallible. His speech perfect. His speech flawless. Mm -hmm. His words are never ending. That's right. His words have no beginning. Yet is so much power in his words, it causes things to begin. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. What did John, hallelujah. What did John say here? And the word was with God. And the word was with God. And, and the word was God. See how you clear it up? Yeah. Who is the word? The word was God. So you that says it means another God is with them, mm -hmm. because they said the word was with God, mm -hmm. you's a liar. There is no God with me. Here, 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 God talking. There is no God with me. Give chapter and verse, son. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. Says what? And there is no God with me. Do you hear this? Amen. I. I kill. I, even I. See now that I, See even now I. See now that I, even I. I and noticed the singular talk. Singular, that's right. Singular. Right. Well, well, get this. There's only one God. That's right. Just one. Just one. He's not on your window. No. He's not that image. No, no. Mm -mm. He's not around your neck. No, no. No, sir. No. And he's not your pastor. That's right. He's not your rabbi, and he's not your imam. That's right. And he's not your daddy. No. Your daddy ain't God. No. <laughs> he's not the pope. Amen. So stop bowing to that false prophet. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I see now that I see now. He wants you to see something. See. Which means see now. Which now. means understand now. That's right. Give you an understanding right now. That's right. That's see right. now that I, that I, even I, even I, am he. Not that I, even us. No, I, even I. See now that I, even we. I, even I. See now that I, even they. I, even I. Amen. He didn't say I and plus I. I, even I. I even I, he establishing, there ain't no one with him but him. That's right. I even I. Am he. Am he. And, and there is no God with me. There is no God with me. I kill. Look at the one God boasting about what he does. I kill. Anytime, and I want you viewers, you churchgoers to get this. Right. Anytime you go to a church and they teaching you it's three, mm -hmm. You're not in, a, in God's church, you're in the devil's church. That's right. That's a lie floating around in your so-called religion that you call Christianity. That's right. 
I had one person wrote me and said, Pastor Jenna, don't believe the fundamentals <laughs> of Christianity, of that there's Trinity. Right. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. Tell you now. Mm -hmm. Trinity is a religious fake. Amen. The belief of Trinity, mm -hmm. it's a lie that the devil been telling. That's right. And the devil told you something that he don't even believe. No. Devil don't believe it's three. No. Oh no. Oh, no. Think of it. Here, here, hypocrite. The devil don't believe it's three. The devil believe in one. one. Give me the book of James, if you will. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, if thou believe that there's one God, God. the devils believe, believe and tremble. And tremble. tremble. And here's the devil got you believing in something he don't believe. Why do he do that? Because he fulfills his title as a deceiver. That's right. All right. What did he say? See now that I, even I, am he. And what? And there is no God with me. What did he say? I kill. I kill. And I make a lie. I make a lie. I wound. I look at I, 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 I. Mm -hmm. I wound, I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Listen, God do what he want with you. For I lift up my hand. Wait a minute. We lift up our hand. I lift up my hand to heaven. I want to say to every Trinitarian. Amen. Every last one of you, your wish up mm -hmm. is in vain. That's right. Amen. Your wish up this morning, this afternoon, and tonight. That's right. It's in vain. Amen. There's only one God. Mm -hmm. The word is with God, yes. and God is that word. That's right. God used words to bring the beginning into being. Amen. The word. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to John. Back I want to, to enlarge on that. Back to John chapter 1 and verse 1. I want to take my time and soak you. Follow me in hear me. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word. <clears throat> and the word. Was with God. All right. Don't choke on the word now. <clears throat> if you got to loosen your collar, loosen it up. Give yourself plenty of room. Amen. Give yourself plenty of room. Don't go choking on the word. Amen. <coughs> yeah. Amen. Are you all right? <coughs> all right, loosen up. So I want y'all give them a bottle of water. I want to make sure that everybody get it. Give them a bottle of water quickly. Quickly. <coughs> quickly, I say. Loosen your collar up, son. Don't just loosen your necktie. Loosen your collar. Get it all out. Come on, brother. Come on quick and give them some water. Take a drink of water quickly. Come on, hurry up. Let's get it in you. Now, I know your pastor prefer whiskey. <laughs> you know, your pastor prefer whiskey, but the Bible says wine is a mock and strong drink. It's, ra it's raging here. Amen. Are you all right now? I'm all right now. Pastor. All right. In the beginning. <laughs> Glory to God. In the beginning was the word. Was the word. And the word, and the word was with God. Was with God. And the word. And the word was God. Was God. The same. Listen at this. The same. Was in the beginning with was God. In the beginning with God. Hold it. Hold it. His word. <clears throat> He's saying that his same word was with him in the beginning. In the beginning. Which means from the beginning. Up until now, that's right. His word having deviated. That's right. That's what that means. That's right. Notice the language of the scripture. In the beginning was the word, and, and the word was with God, and, and the word was God. Everything is centered around word. word. The title, word. That's now right. let's let's go to school. Mm -hmm. When I was in elementary school, they taught me nouns. Mm -hmm. Pronouns, mm -hmm. verbs, adverbs, adjectives, synonyms, harmonyms, compound words. That's right. Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Conjunction junction. Amen. <laughs> What's that function? Amen. <laughs> Amen. 
Why do God bear the title word? Word. word. Let's look at the English English grammar. Verb mean action. Mm -hmm. So God will be a verb. Right. Verbs. Verbs are action words or words that express a state of being. They describe actions, occurrences, or states of being in a sentence. Verbs typically show what the subject of the sentence is doing or experiencing. Nouns. Nouns are words that represent people, places, things, or ideas. They are used as subjects or objects in a sentence, and they can be singular or plural. And the Messiah would be a noun. That's right. Because he's a holy thing. thing. The noun could not do nothing of itself without the power of the verb. That's right. The verb made a noun. Yeah. Step in the noun. That's right. And then the noun had the power of the verb. That's right. You see the now walking on water. Yeah. How did he do it? By the power of the verb. That's right. Hallelujah, God. That's right. That's it. But the now had a lot of adjectives. Oh, yeah. He was called lamb. Yeah. Hallelujah, take God. Yeah. He was called true vine. Mm -hmm. Son of man. Mm -hmm. Son of God. Servant, yeah, holy thing. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Word, word. God, the, in fact, word alone is an adjective. That's right. Adjective describes. That's right. And when He put His title into action, it becomes verb. That's right. In the book of Second Estrus. Listen, listen, Cha listen now. Second Estrus chapter six. I want you to. I want to soak you real good. Second Estrus chapter six. We'll start at verse thirty-eight. Follow me. And I said, O Lord, O Lord, Thou spakest from the beginning of the creation. Thou spakest from the beginning of the creation. Of the creation. Even the first day. Even the first day. And settest thus. And settest thus. Let heaven and earth be made. Let heaven and earth be. This is what you're saying, Lord. And thy Lord, this is what you say. Let heaven Let and earth, heaven and earth, be made. Be made. And thy word, and thine word, was a perfect work. Amen. Verb mean action. That's right. His word was a perfect action. That's right. His word was a perfect act. That's what you right. mean, perfect? He was complete in his actions. That's for as soon as soon as thy word went forth, as your word went forth, the work, the work was made. Was made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As soon as Hallelujah. God said, "Let Hallelujah. there be light." Hallelujah. 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 Separate light from darkness. Hallelujah. As soon as, soon as thy word went forth. No hesitation. That's right. No procrastinating. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the deep. There it is. That's right. That's right. Now, you would say, well, Pastor Jennings, if it's one. <coughs> That is like Genesis 126. Yeah. Let us make man if it's more than one, then why would he say us? Us. <laughs> why would he say, would he say us? us? Yeah. One preacher said he was talking to his angels. No, he wasn't. No, no, no. Because angels are not creators. That's right. Only one is a creator. That's right. That's right. God being singular, mm -hmm. he can express himself in a plural manner. That's right. Because you do it. Yes, we do. Human family do it all the time. All the time. 
That's right. You ready to go around the corner and say, man, we got to get this stuff together. Mm -hmm. There ain't no one going to get nothing together but you. But you. <laughs> That's right. Self counsel. Yeah. He's working all things after the counsel of his own of will. His own will. So this is how the devil tricked you, Bible readers. Mm -hmm. You read Genesis 1:26. Let us make man yes. in our image, after our likeness, and then the devil says, "Stop." <laughs> That's right. I don't want you to read no more. Don't read no more. All you got to do is keep reading down to verse 27, verse 27. and it will tell you how many made man. Genesis 1 and verse 27. Says, so God created so man. So G-O-D, not G-O-B-S. No, no. So God created man. In his own image. How? In his own image. If it was more than one, then it would have been several images. That's right. Now, That's right. this is the reason why. Mm -hmm. He did not make multiple men. No. In the beginning. No, no. Because if it was more than one God, mm -hmm. then each God would have to have a reflection. That's right. Of himself. That's right. Right here. Amen. That's right. But making God in his image. In his image. That's why he made one man. One man. Yeah. One man. That's right. One image. Mm -hmm. When the man stood up, it represents one God. Amen. When he made the woman from the man, yeah. it represents what God will make to be a help for him. That's right. What will be a help? Unto him. Unto him. His wife. That's right. The church. That's right. That's why, if you take note, the first shall be last, mm -hmm. and the last shall be first. Shall be first. Before he present to himself the church. Mm -hmm. That's last. But he done something first, first. to represent the last. That's right. After he made Eve, he presented her. To the man. To the man. Because he's gonna present the church to the set to himself. That's right. And he present Eve to the man. That's right. I hope you can get this. Amen. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Hope you guys learned something from this. God bless you.